Hey everyone. It's been a long time since I've been to the Oishi Atrium. They changed the table layout, what it looks like. So, here you get this like uh, acrylic card and you can scan, you know, at these stations and they'll deliver it to your table. So you actually bring it up to the stations and then you scan there. Here's a bunch of freshly fried stuff it looks like. Uh, so this is the hot pot stuff, but I don't know why you'd come to a, a buffet and eat that. I'm sure it's good and all, but... Yeah, see? So you can order stuff here. In fact, I will. So here's the laser thing. There we go. Uh, I imagine tons of people are forgetting these cards up at these stations. I almost feel like an app might be better. Alright, so... There's only one price for this place, by the way. There's no, like, different level, different tier. What is this, pork, chicken? Uh, I can't scroll any further, so I guess that's all I'm gonna get from this station here. I can't read this language, but you, you've got pretty decent sized photos. All right, so yeah. There are some muscles there, though. Eh, whatever. Okay, you got your beverages. Soda station, but no Diet Coke. Some teas, some juices. They do have a real coffee machine, though. I remember that being good. And then they have, I think, Bingsu. We got a bunch of sherbets in here. Yeah, I think this has got some sort of cool-looking dessert. Some pre-made desserts over here. Puddings and whatnot. What is that? That's a seasonal thing right there. Strawberry cheesecake. I gotta come back for that for sure. Then if you like sushi, that's, and then you can order special sushi rolls, by the way. Oh, look at all this. And then they do have the stuff in English as well back there. But let's just look at the food. Although I gotta warn you guys, sushi is like farm farm fish is some of the most toxic food you can eat. So I don't eat sushi all too much anymore. Yeah, this salmon is farmed. It's not very orange. Although even the they figured out to add color to farm salmon now, so you can't really go off the color of fish anymore. Well, anyways, if you don't care about pesticides and plastics and all that stuff, there's a lot of sushi choices for you. Here we got that uh, those egg egg savory egg tart things. Fish moss soup. Yeah, there's some moss in there. Mushroom soup. Why you would eat that at a buffet, I don't know. Miso soup. Bunch of fresh fruit. Then uh, get your salad roughage there. Yeah, you can make a crazy sushi sashimi salad here, I guess. That's real bacon there. That's not that fake stuff. That's real bacon, so that's cool. Here you can get some, looks like sushi and like uh, tempura rolls. Soft shelled crab tamaki, that's gonna be good. But weird, there's no station here, you literally have to write it out. And there's no person here to tell, so I'll have to come back for that later. Okay, so salmon something. Giant salmon heads. Stewed duck feet. Oh yeah, well, I might try that later. Some vegetables there. Get that made. Get that made. Real hell of it. I have to try that myself. All right. So get scan. Oh, now this one does have English. So somewhere in here, you must be able to change the uh, change things up. Okay. Garlic rice. 
what YouTube is. YouTube Kuba Tony. Oh, those look pretty good. And they come back to that. Baked spinach. And then pork with truffle sauce. What do we have over here? Various condiments. Both in English and in Thai. Alright, well you got the lay of the land there, so I'll uh, come back at the table. So I didn't bring my video camera, so you're going to have to pardon the shakiness and the heavy breathing. Here's that ordered steak, beef steak that is. Let's see. I think it's well done though, unfortunately. Yeah. It tastes good and all, but it's well done. Oh, that's too bad. So when you get here, you, they have like a special dish you can order and each person can order something. So here we have a seared tuna of some sort. You know, I didn't even see any knives up there, so I'm gonna cut it with a fork. So let's try this. Kind of dry though, but it. It's almost like it has a like a dry rub that you would find on like American barbecue. So I can't say what's in that mix of stuff, but there's a whole lot of flavor. Here's the other special thing. <laughs> Looks like uh, I don't know if that's beef or pork. I'm pretty sure that's beef. And it's got like a barbecue sauce here. Very interesting. I guess it's like a beef sushi. That's a little weird, it's barbecue sauce and sushi. Here's a made to order dish of some kale. Unfortunately, that is cold. So, it tastes good, but it's cold. It's really weird. This looks like some sort of fish. Steamed. Mm. Yeah, this fish is okay. Very similar to like a Chinese style fish, but I think it is a Japanese restaurant. It's got some spinach here. Look at that cheese melt. Very cheesy, very good spinach. Let's try this mussel. If I can get it out of the shell. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay. Very buttery and very garlicky. If you like cheesy garlicky mussels, this is really good. That was a really soft mussel. It wasn't overcooked. Said uh, truffle, mushroom, pork. Yeah, that's pretty good also. Definitely a strong mushroom flavor. Okay. It's just some shrimp tempura. Even though that was sitting out there, this is still very crispy, so that's very good. Those like takayoki balls or whatever. Well, it's very mushy. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. Pretty decent savory flavor. Just some like bread filling, possibly pork. Tastes good, but the consistency is a little mushy. And then we have one of these soft-shelled crab uh, rolls. That looks pretty nice. Mm. 
being made to order. The soft shelled crab is pretty crispy still, so that's good. It's not all soggy. Mm, this is this tastes pretty good. Okay, I'll have to get some more dishes. Okay, I got one of those halibut dishes just showing up here. Let's see. You don't really eat halibut in this country too often. It's more of a western thing. Hmm. Still warm. It's kind of crispy on the bottom. Or maybe that's the skin of it that was crispy. So all in all, it tastes pretty good. Uh, it's a very mild fish. This sauce is very mild also. I can't even say what that is. Maybe like a miso sauce? Maybe from fried radishes. These are cold. These are cold though. Eh, if you like halibut, try it out. It's not bad. I also thought I'd just try the noodles. It actually wasn't me, but anyways, we had the chashu pork looking really good in there. So I'm just trying to get a piece of it out of here. Yeah, look how soft that pork is. It just falls apart. Yep. That chashu is just as good as any other chashu pork at a ramen shop. I mean, it's okay. It just tastes like ramen noodles to me. It's some sort of spicy sauce. It's got a little seafoodness to it. It's like meat of uh, some sort of seafood. It's all right. All right, this goes against my better judgment. First, uh, some daikon miso stuff, but uh, yeah, that's some fresh daikon if you want to dip the tempura in there. As I mentioned, seafood is all generally bad for you. It's all has plastic in it, but I don't eat it too often. So, some sort of clam it looks like. I have no idea what kind of clam this would be. Not as chewy as I thought it would be. Also a pretty light flavor. <laughs> Man, that clam was actually all right. I've never seen shrimp with melted cheese on it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Melted cheese on uh, shrimp. Okay. Boy, this definitely doesn't look safe to eat. You can also just get the sashimi if you don't want to deal with the rice. Hmm. Yeah, it's like cheap, cheap sushi tuna. Yeah, it's not the greatest. And then again, this is probably farm salmon. The salmon tastes a lot better than the tuna. It's much more savory. So the, the sushi, sashimi here tastes great. Just that I know how bad it is for you. You don't care. I think that's a draw of this place. All you can eat sushi, sashimi. Alright, well, just try some edamame beans. Yeah, they taste as good as any others. It seems odd to eat such a cheap food at a buffet, but I thought I'd try it anyways. It's silky soft. Oh yeah, that's very soft tofu. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's got this uh, shredded bonito. And, uh, it's a really soft tofu. And 
some sort of like uh, light sauce. It's not soy sauce, it's much lighter than that. It's got some vinegar mixed into it. That was actually pretty good, very refreshing. All right, I thought I'd try the pork with cheese on it. So the cheese, yeah, there you go, it is melted for sure. This is gonna be really savory. Mm. The pork is kind of soft, considering it's cooked very well. It's got that like mayonnaise sauce. But it looks like ebby eggs. Kind of sauce you'd have on like a sushi roll. Well, it's kind of a taste overload. I think it would have been better without the sauce myself. But it's not bad. Cabbage and carrots don't have much flavor. That's probably a good thing, just based on how much flavor there is there. All right. I have no idea what this is, but there's like a teapot. And I don't know if this is like a soup stock or just tea. But it has scallions in it. It's like a soup stock. Very uh, mild flavor soup. It actually tastes quite good. Hmm. It's crazy, I can't even say what that flavor is. Maybe it's like a light seafood broth. Hmm. It's, worth, it's worth a try. It's one of those like egg, egg custard things. It's a savory dish though. So we got a mushroom in there. We got some enoki mushrooms in there. Little chunks of that. Some scallions. Yeah, very mild flavor. I don't know if there's gonna be shrimp at the bottom. Yeah. Yes. Well, no. There's fake crab meat at the bottom. It's okay. All right. <laughs> I really like these cheese uh, shrimp things. But anyways, we have some sort of shrimp uh, roll. But this looks like maybe avocado. And I don't know what that is, but let's try it. The rice they use here is very cheap. It's kind of like a dry rice. Here we have like a fried, maybe shrimp roll in the middle. Hmm. Oddly that second piece was a lot moister than the first piece but they were both put out at the same time which is odd some sort of cabbage hmm. well this dish is hot you know it actually looks like lettuce it might be just stir-fried lettuce with garlic I got a second beef steak. Let's see if they did a better job on this one. No, well done. So, I, I like that it's seared, but it's, it's like well done, which seems sacrilegious to a piece of beef. seasonal di dessert. 
ตื่นไปเจ็บเก้าสามเก้าสามเนี่ย some sort of crunchy things here Somebody who is asking about like a member card or something. <clears throat> you know, it's that dish over there. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's okay. I think it's supposed to be taro, maybe that purple stuff. Here's the cheesecake. The the cake itself is. Uh, It's like a sponge cake, not crispy or anything like that. The cheesy part is like medium density. Mm, that's not bad. It's much sweeter though than this one. And then we have some panna cotta. Jam. That's a strawberry jam. Just trying to get to the trying to get to the white stuff. I don't know if you can eat it without the jam. Yeah. So the milk pudding is pretty good. Not very sweet. I kind of wish you could get it without the jam. All right, so those are some of the other dishes there. So that b i n g s u machine, some stuff. Here's some other people's b i n g s u s That guy's making me a latte as we speak. So here's the b i n g s u Looks like we have some mochi in there, some sort of maybe pudding up top or tofu. Let's see what this stuff is up top. Actually, the stuff on top is like a flan. It's like a flan. The powdered stuff might be nuts, if I had to guess. No, I don't know. I don't know what that top powder is. Yeah, the vanilla ice cream is pretty good. And then let's try this mochi thing out. Kind of wish the mochi was smaller. Yeah, very chewy. Well, b i n g s u is pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, pretty strong latte. Yeah, freshly ground beans, so can't go wrong with that either. And then you just got some bacon. I don't think there's such a thing as bad bacon. Some edamame beans already peeled. Yeah, good stuff. Another tempura shrimp again. Seems to be one of my favorites here. So a few issues we found here. I went and got some uh, freshly served mussels, and they weren't they weren't hot. So I think those mussels might have been frozen before, but they didn't they didn't cook them enough. I mean I think they were probably maybe they were pre-cooked, but I kind of want my food to be hot, right? So I, I'm not going to eat that thing because it, was, it wasn't even hot. So that's a, an issue. The second issue is that lady, the waitress, came by twice, asking for a member card the first time, and then asking us to pay the second time. When you're in the middle of eating food, it's kind of annoying, right? It would just be easier, I think, for those guys to just charge the money up front than to bother people in the middle of their meal. But here are the prices. So for two people with tax. It's like 1,520 baht. So I kind of feel like a lot of the food here. Also, I had to wait a long time to get a fresh batch of this 
a fresh batch of the mussels. And then both of my steaks were well done. And there's no way to order medium rare on that computer system. So you're always gonna get a well done steak. And I just feel for this kind of money, uh, other buffets are better. So I actually wouldn't recommend coming here. Unless you really like sushi. But if you love sushi, this is probably the place to come. Alright, so we'll leave it at that today. So thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next restaurant.